So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. This fielded at the two. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here we go. At their own 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game and collectively has in total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic. But maybe some concern? Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. Here we go, here we go. 180! 54 Mike. And let's get that ball here. Let's get that ball right. 57, 57. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's got this one across midfield into 49 er territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing, often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down and four, Wentz. Got an open man, it's Scott. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Is that not the very definition of a tough yard game? Now, is that one where is the receiver, you go to your quarterback and say, why'd you even throw that? <laughs> yeah, I think you do. And I think you wonder, what type of a route are you going to send me on that only one yard is going to be the result? If I'm going to go in there and take contact, let's go ahead and get something out of it, not just one yard. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Oh, and now some space to operate. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. From the red zone now, wins. They'll roll him out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. D Ford, what a play by him. That's a loss of 17. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. To throw his wins. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. D Ford able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And the kick is good. He needed a little help there from the crossbar, but the carom goes his way. 
And that will make our score nine to nothing. So a favorable bounce that time, to say the least, and he's able to convert the field goal there from a long distance. Yeah, the guys behind the end zone didn't need to hike the net up for this one. That thing was a dying quail, but he finds a way to boink it off the crossbar and make it drop through.